Dear Wimpy Kid Old School. I got this book recently, today in fact, and I just decided to bang out a read. I am a huge fan of the series because of just how fun it is. I like these fun books myself. However, there are a few things I will say about this one. None of the plots feel to be resolved in any satisfying way. I mean, yeah, they get a camp story. So did the last straw. Better, in fact. And the other thing to work into it, while Diary of Wimpy Good has been good lately, I think probably my favorite book in the series is The Long Haul, which is amazingly funny. And that was the one directly before this one. And from there, this book's n not that good compared to the others. I didn't find myself laughing that once, except for the nostalgia p fact about that and the big plot of it resolves rather quickly. In fact, you only get to read one day of what it is when the others have much more. Like I've said, the long haul did pretty well with uh, with just like having a week for time and did well. They in fact also though in this book skipped a whole summer of the chronology now with the case between um um the original and Roderick Rules, they did that too, but not the case here. So, not many cards are in this book's favor. No, really, I, and I mean this. What, what could I say? Let's see. I feel like it's just, see, while the other books, um, one thing I'll say again that I loved about The Long Haul was that it centered on the family mainly and mm, took out all the side characters. Here, we don't have that. Dare I say that in this book, Greg is the only main character. None of the other characters have that much of a role, thus making it more one-sided. I kind of like just the things about the others, and you know what? The book actually started off good, I will say that, and it slowly morphed into an okay book. In fact, yeah, this book, for any Die of Wimpy Kid fan, will not be that impressive, unless they're a younger person. I mean, this book throws, like, no big laughs at you. So, how does it stand compared to, like, the hard luck? Um, worse, I'd say it's the worst in the series so far, but I'm just hoping that they improve a little bit. And it, this isn't me growing up, I can promise you that. It's more me realizing having a more critical sense. As I've said many times, though, if you, if you take a step down, I don't know what's left of the series. Unless you can do something amazing, like amazing, why don't you try throwing Greg into a romance or anything like that? That's how you get my recommendation. This book's probably at like a 6 out of 10. So yeah, thank you for watching this review.